comes to us from God. And as we align ourselves in the right way, in, in our mind in a definite way, towards God, to the good, then that thing will come to us in the right and perfect time. You know, let's just all think about what it is that we want and how we can talk about what we want and how we can write down what we want and be definite and magnify the good in our mind in the most incredible, wonderful way and dare to be prosperous, dare to be definite about prosperity and be willing to write them down and do these simple things. These things are simple, but they're coming to us. If you're listening to this program, if you're reading my message on the Internet, if, if you're having this come into your experience in any way, then it's coming to you for you. There's only God, there's only good, there's only God giving to you something that will make your life greater, to make your life happier, to make your life a more abundant life, a more joyful life, a more easy life. The life is not supposed to be a struggle. Life is not supposed to be a mistake or a series of mistakes. Life is supposed to be a joy, a joy. A joy to live, a joy to be, a, boy, a joy to a have all the things that God has for us. So send that dollar, send a dollar, one dollar to Reverend Bates, P.O. Box 1173, Palm Springs, California, 92263, and take out a notepad every day, or just rip off a piece of paper, write it on the newspaper that you're reading or the magazine that you're reading. One, two, three, what is it that I'm definite about today? What is it that I'm definite about today that I want to be, that I want to have, or I want to do, or I want to feel? What is it? What is going through my mind? What is it that would make me feel a greater enthusiasm about life, a greater joy, a uh, joyful feeling about life? What is it that would, would make me feel so marvelous and so wonderful as I go through this experience of life that, that, I would just be in the spirit all day long. What is it? What is it that's going through my mind? I don't know what it is for you. Only you know what it is for you. God does not know what it is for you because you must speak your word, write your word, think your word about what it is that you want in a definite way, or otherwise the spirit cannot respond. It cannot respond to you. Write this down and say this with me. Say it to yourself. I live in the consciousness. I live in the consciousness of success and prosperity. I live right now. I live in the consciousness of success and prosperity. I live and I thrive in the consciousness of success and prosperity. I live in the enjoyment and the, and the consciousness of success and prosperity. I live. I live and I enjoy life. And I feel good about life and good about God and good about all the people around me because I live in this consciousness of success and prosperity. Magnify these words until these words just permeate your mind, until these words just take on a whole radiance by themselves, a whole energy by themselves, and lift your mind up and lift your ideas up about yourself and about your life and about your relationship with God. Let's know all together that God is good and God is the only power, the only presence, the only intelligence that is. In the book of Isaiah, he says, besides me, there is none other. So don't worry about the opinions of other people. Don't worry about what it is that you don't have, can't have, or won't have. Just think about what it is that you can definitely say is mine. I can write it down in a definite way and dare to prosper, dare to succeed, and dare to live in the consciousness of success and prosperity beginning right now. Bring these ideas into your mind. Don't let another day go by that you don't write something down. Don't let another day go by that you don't practice the presence of God by realizing that this presence is mine. This presence is the idea within you that gives you an idea of something greater, something more wonderful, something more marvelous, something more beautiful that God has given it to, God has gifted it to you as God has gifted you this life. So begin to live with this idea in your mind. Write it down. Tomorrow, write, write it down tomorrow what it is that you want tomorrow, even if it contradicts what you want today because tomorrow is another day. You're not stuck in having these things. You can write down, I want to, I, I, I affirm right now that I have a million dollars, but tomorrow you may say, I don't want the money. I just want to have a more happiness, more joy, more peace. Whatever it is that goes through your mind, you are the one that's directing your life. It's your life. Direct it. Choose.